Leiston Fortress. Looks like they're uh, fixing up the Arcelli. So the Arcelli's arrived, eh? Ah, darn. Every time I see this ship, my heart skips a beat. I hear you, boss. <laughs> Who needs a guy or a girl when you can fall in love with something like that? Don't think there's an engineer alive who deserves to work on her every day, though. Heh, <laughs> that's my line. Maintenance Chief Gustav, thank you for coming. I know you've been busy. Hey, Sid, wasn't expecting to see you come to meet us. I thought you'd moved up in the world and left behind your job as garrison commander here. <laughs> well, I have. I'm intending to leave aboard a patrol ship with my men later on. Until then, however, I'm free, so I thought I might as well come and greet you. Ha! <laughs> well, good luck with the patrol, at least. Oh yeah, wasn't there an earthquake around here a bit ago? You didn't let anything happen to the Arcelli, did you? No. The Arcelli was in the air during the earthquake. The earthquake caused little damage in general, in fact. We were prepared in advance for it. Our facility should still be perfect for your needs. Good to hear. Anyhow, we'd love to get down to work. But I'm wondering, where are all the Royal Guard folks? Ah, here, let me show you. We should be just in time for a bit of a show. Huh? Combatants at the ready. And begin. Hiya! Julia, your attacks are too predictable. With a rapier, you should be able to overwhelm me with moves only possible with a light blade. Remember what I taught you, and come at me again. Sir. Yes, sir. Good. That's better. And now, my turn. Uh. Defense is the same way. Build an image of the flow of battle in your mind. Offense and defense, and use it to predict a foe's movements. Sir. Yeah. Enough. I call the match. Ah, ah, ah. Heh, <laughs> not a whit less than I expected. I only taught you the barest of basics all those years ago. But you've come far on your own, Julia. Well done. No, sir. My performance was shameful. I, uh, could not best you. Don't disparage yourself, Schwartz. That was a fairly impressive display. But General, remember who you're fighting, Captain. I've yet to meet a man or woman who can match blades with Cassius without having their sword swept from their hand in a few strokes. You did very well for yourself. I see why Cassius and Her Majesty place such stock in you. I th thank you, sir. Still, a chance to practice like this doesn't come very, up very often. I'd like to continue until I'm truly unable to fight, if you don't mind. <laughs> Good. Well, Cassius, up for risking a skewering again? She may well manage it this time. Well, I'd be humbled to get poked down a peg. But I believe we have a visitor. Ha! Dang, if that wasn't one heck of a show. 
Well fought, both of you. Captain Schwartz, that was very impressive. Lieutenant Colonel Sid. And the man with you is... Maintenance Chief Gustav, ma'am. The Central Factory sent me over. Nice to meet you, Captain. Oh, pardon me. I'm Captain Julius Schwartz, Company Commander of the Royal Guard. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Gustav. Hmm, it seems that will be all for today, then. Alright, lads. Show's over. Back to your posts. Sir! Do you mind showing me to the Arcelli's engine room? I'd like to get an idea of how we're going to attack this. Certainly, follow me. You'll have to excuse me, General Morgan. General Bright? General, thank you very much for your guidance. <laughs> not at all. These old bones are needed to work out anyway. Captain Mr. Gustav, take care with the Arcelli. Sir. No worries, General. The Arcelli is like my baby. I won't let her down. Captain Schwartz has gotten quite impressive. I swear she's even better than when I last saw her. Yes, she's come a long way very quickly. Even now, she's only a step or two below you and Richard, Colonel, and she can only grow. Indeed, watching youth on display like that gives me back a bit of my old drive. Cassius, how about it? I'll give you a skewing later, if you're up for it. Uh, Morgan? I'm not sure it'd be the best idea at your age. Besides, I heard you did quite well for yourself at last year's tournament in Gransel. You have to let the young folks have their moment occasionally. <laughs> Why do you think I gave you command? If you can say that, how about you stop complaining and do your job, hmm? Ouch! Put my foot right into that hornet's nest. <laughs> Speaking of a hornet's nest, Lieutenant Colonel, I believe you'll be assigned to the Guard Patrol. Yes, sir. I'll be leaving at noon. I'll be using three companies and two patrol ships. I'll be at the signing ceremony itself, but I won't be free until then. You're in charge of the defense of Gransel until then. Leave it to me, sir. I'll be sure to work well with the Bracer Guild to make sure that nothing happens. Hmm? I don't like it. But I suppose we've little choice but to lean on those civilians this time. <laughs> Warming up to the guild a little, Morgan? Ooh, is that the intelligence division? Watchtowers, orbital sensors, a mined harbour and gun emplacements covering all approaches. A perfect defence in every way. If that's the way you want to play, Cassius Bright, I'll just have to change the rules of the game a little, as suggested. Sir, just wait a little bit longer. Your freedom is coming soon, Colonel, I promise. Chapter 3, The Mad Tea Party Please form your party, you may choose two other members aside from the mandatory members. Alrighty, so who do we want to have then? So we've got a tank with superior offense and defense, but weak with arts. Uh, Olivia has superior range and powerful arts, not limited by lines. Tyda has low stamina but wide area coverage and recovery abilities. And Chloe is an expert at recovery arts, possesses useful support crafts. I'm thinking that Olivia and Chloe are going right, to be the please. ones will have mainly Olivia just for his banter. Together now. Otherwise I probably would have taken Zin. Okay, next stop, Gransel. We'll head to the dock once everyone's ready. Given that it's the military, which, you know, means your dad calling, we might want to hurry. Still, if we got any jobs left or shopping to do, we can take care of that, I bet. Off we go! Okay, so can we actually switch things around with everybody? Okay, so I'm gonna do some augment changes real quick, um, and then I will bring the video back.
Alrighty, and I am done changing things around, so I've just gone ahead and uh, equipped Chloe with the armor which Titer originally had. Um, and then if we go over to the Orbments, uh, this is how I have Chloe set up. This is really kind of specifically to have her set up as a healer, because uh, that is who we are kind of aiming to go with. Because, you know, even her S-Craft is, is a nice big old heal and Olivia I've uh, kind of got him set up like this just for the moment this gives him access to earth wall which is a really useful ability to have um, and just a few other moves as well which can help power people up on the battlefield um, so yeah this is just how he's kind of set up for now I haven't ch oh and um, I removed the augments from um, a Zin and kind of spread them over a gate and a stealth to just upgrade the move set. So let's see, we should have another quest we can actually pick up. Missing guest. The guest left to do some touring and touring and failed to return by the specified date and time. We would like to request an immediate investigation. For details, please inquire at the front desk of our hotel. I'll contact Elman in the capital from my end. Go with the goddess's blessing and be careful. There's nobody to speak to upstairs, so I think for the remainder of this episode, we are gonna go ahead and catch up with the wonderful people of Zeiss before we go and do that quest. Uh, um, I'm sorry to bother you while you're working. Do you um have any delicious looking apples here? Delicious looking apples? So like ones with good color and shine, you mean? How about that one? I'd say it looks pretty good. Wow, incredible, you can tell just by looking. Man, pros like you are on a different level or something. I, I don't think there's any reason to be so impressed. I just kind of picked one that seemed okay is all. To know just at a glance, he's like a pro or something. <laughs> I'm glad I asked for his help. Phew, man, there's lots of different customers. Welcome to the Bell Station General Goods. Apparently there won't be any more earthquakes, so why not celebrate by doing a little shopping? Seems like there won't be any more earthquakes for a while. The Central Factory announced it, so it must be true. No new Labelle news yet. Aw, there's not going to be no more quakes. I kind of liked them. Ah, uh, but if quakes come, then my brother will get mad. Yeah, that would be bad. Seems the earthquakes have settled down. <laughs> it was worth all that prayer. The church really is invaluable in times of crisis. Okay, let's stop by the hotel. Welcome to the Zanrad Hotel. Do you have a reservation? Sorry, that's not why we're here. We came from the guild. Oh, are you the braces? Pardon me, we've been waiting for you. Can you begin the search immediately? Yeah, no problem. The request mentioned a customer hasn't returned in some time. So in other words, they're missing. Yes, that's exactly the case. He's been gone for three days. Three days, huh? That is kind of worrisome. Lately, the monsters on the roads have been pretty nasty too. I almost wish that was where he had gone. This particular guest, he, he's he gone to the Limestone Cave. The Limestone Cave? The one that's like in the middle of the Chaldea Tunnel? Yes, exactly, the Chaldea Limestone Cave. We tried to stop him, but... Whoa, whoa, you're kidding, right? That place is a monster pit. I can't believe this. Why go there without an escort? Who was this crazy guest? He seemed to be a fairly ordinary young man. He checked in as Jimmy from Ruan. Jimmy from Ruan? C could it be... You know him? Yeah, I've done a job for someone with that name before. As I recall, it was a treasure hunt of some kind. Most likely, he went to the Limestone Cave searching for something again. We'd best away to Limestone Cave immediately. If fortune doesn't favour this young man, we might already be too late. Yeah, we should hurry. Got any other information? I've told you everything I can. Please, take care of our guest. We're on it. Let's move. 
Yep, so we're going to have a NPC search and rescue mission to do later on. But that's probably going to be the next episode. Welcome to the Zanrad Hotel. <laughs> Did you hear? The earthquakes are done. The earthquakes are done. One of the guests told me there was an announcement about it. I feel 1000% better now. Now first we'll start with cleaning. I'm really going to do it today. Well, her pizzazz for life has returned. Oops, wrong door. Okay, who else do we have to talk to? Anybody here? Hello? I guess not. My sister went off to Lyston Fortress for work. In other words, this is my chance. If I clean it now, it might stay clean for at least a few hours. Yeah, now I'm motivated. I'm gonna do my best to clean this place up. Ah, isn't my sister gonna get married soon? I think that's the only way this room is ever gonna get cleaned. Well, I'm actually generally surprised that she's gonna clean it herself, considering she's always expecting her sister to do it. Apparently a safety announcement went out, but it all sounds fishy to me. How can they so clearly say that no more earthquakes will happen, hmm? It's our quash. Very suspicious if you ask me. I'm sure old Russell is involved in this somehow. Heck, he probably even started it. Then an earthquake happened, then his research got interrupted. Hmm, a very believable sequence of events, come to think of it. Well, one way or another, it's good news that the earthquakes are finally over. Think too much and all you're gonna do is lose more hair. That's my motto. It's good news that there'll be no more earthquakes. I never doubt good news. Better just to accept it and be merry, I always say. Oh, once it's break time, I need to get over to Louise's house. Pure Uriel must be starving all alone there. Uriel's always watching over the house by herself. I can see why she'd complain about it given her age. I don't know, she always comes across as the one who's never taken care of it. Chief Murdoch said there ain't gonna be no more earthquakes. Apparently whatever's been going on is just a natural rhythm or something. You, makes deliveries to the capital, huh? Guess I gotta ask Wong for an escort again. That reminds me, there's that non-aggression pack signing soon. We have dealings with Imperial gun makers, so I'll admit I'm pretty interested. You've heard of the Reinford Company, right? They actually make more than just guns. Tanks are also their speciality as it happens. The Reinford Company in the Empire and the Verne Company from the Republic. Those two are arguably the really big orbital gun makers. Of course, the Zeiss Central Factory is no slouch either. I'd love for the Central Factory mark to mean the world's best someday. Apparently Gundolf's coming back from the capital soon. That'll be a load off my shoulders. Still, I wonder how long we're gonna be understaffed like this. Apparently Gundolf's coming back soon. I wonder how long we're gonna be understaffed like this. Need to train up some more braces. Hooray! I managed to see my husband and daughter off to work again without any problems. Now I can relax until Grandfather comes back. My grandfather's been at the bar since noon. He's so strange. The man doesn't even drink, but he likes to hang out there. Did see a chap walking about. Here we go. Apparently there was a safety notification at some point. Really right up until the end, those earthquakes made no sense. Hmm, signing ceremony for the non-aggression pact is coming up. It's been 10 years since that war. I hope it's signed without any resistance. I just heard from my husband, but apparently there aren't going to be any more earthquakes. Just as I was planning on safeguarding the flower beds to prepare for earthquakes too. I'm relieved. All that worrying was pretty draining. 
The central factory made an announcement, but it sounds like the earthquakes are over. I'm relieved, all that worrying was pretty draining. Apparently a declaration of safety was put out under Chief Murdoch's name. Anyway, we're just glad there was no real damage from the earthquakes. Perhaps we should consider preparations for earthquakes in the future. Right now we're far too defenseless after all. Ah, that's a smart kid. Did you hear the announcement from the central factory? We prayed night and day. Now the earthquakes have stopped. It's a miracle. Though the flip side of that is, I was praying so hard, I didn't get any work done. Ah, uh, what should I do about my job? Ugh, I'll be up all night working today. Ugh, there really is no way to combine religious passion with a social life. Apparently Father Vixen thinks that asking the goddess for help in these kinds of situations is okay. His reasoning is sound, yet I have a difficulty coming to terms with his conclusion. Uh, I rather feel bad for Goddess Adios now. So many demands placed upon her shoulders. To pray to the Goddess because you wish the earthquakes to stop. To think that such appeals are perfectly acceptable. It means acknowledging that we are all powerless after all. Except in one's powerlessness in perhaps the most optimal road to a calmer, more manageable existence. Those who would look to the heavens for help have taken the first step. <laughs> I have decided what to grow next in the greenhouse. This time the theme will be healing. I hope I can create something that grants peace to people. Of course, if I'm going to go for it, I'm going to aim for something utterly unique. <laughs> when I return, I will order the needed samples immediately. All the people at the central factory seem so busy. Those are exactly the people I'd like to take a look at. I'd like to take a look at some flowers, but uh, they're always just pass right by. When you're busy and stressed out is exactly when I wish people would stop and enjoy some flowers. Uh, it seems I need to put more effort into getting that message across. The factory ship just left port a bit ago. Feels like it's been a while since I've seen that ship. Oh, that was new. Seems like a bunch of researchers boarded. Oh, hey, it's a gate. Gundolf, you back? Heh, <laughs> only just. Feel a bit bad asking you to keep an eye out every time I go away. That reminds me, I think I owe you a lot of Missy. I've heard about the successes of Estelle Bright. I know it's a bit late, but congratulations on your promotion to Full Bracer. <laughs> Thanks. Still, it seems like you got saddled with a pretty big pain of a case right off the bat. Well, it's tradition to use the best of us the hardest, but... By the way, you're leaving Zeiss? Yeah, we're going to the capital. Apparently we got an official request from the army of all things. Huh. An army request. I didn't hear anything about that when I was over there. Guess you must have just missed it. Ah oh, man, bad timing, huh? Well, whatever, I'll leave that to you. Take care in the capital, or whatever. Yeah, later. I'll leave the military request, or whatever, to you all. Well then, take care in the capital, or whatever. So the landing port will be the last place we go to, because that's going to send us off. To trade rights to the new engine. To try and make money with LaBelle's negotiation ace in the hole. That's just like Murano, she's on some other level. To try and make money with LaBelle's negotiation ace in the hole. That's just like Murano. So those new model engines are sold here, huh? I wonder if I can't somehow get the rights to shop that new engine around. We'd make tons more money if we handled it than if the country did. And they'd make more money in taxes, so everyone's happy. I wonder if I can somehow get the rights to shop that new engine around. Hey, how's it going everyone? Apparently Murdoch sent out an announcement about the earthquakes. Putting aside questions of scientific proof, it's a good announcement I think. A little bit of reassurance from the factory chief goes a long way to calming people after all. The head of the central factory is more or less the mayor. I'm sure there are some people with questions about the announcement, but politically, it is the correct decision. Oh yeah, Estelle, when will you be going to Roland? 
My next stop's the capital, so it'll still be a bit. How about you, Freddy? I am scheduled to return pretty soon. My training's almost over, after all. Next time you come by the store, I'll show you the fruits of what I've learned here. <laughs> Looking forward to it. I'll be heading back to Roland soon. Next time you come by the store, I'll show you the fruits of what I've learned here. It seems the factory ships departed safely. Now the Arcelli will finally have its own wings. After all, development of the engines is delayed and we've kept her waiting. I'm sure the Arcelli must be getting terribly impatient as well. It seems the factory ships departed safely. Oh, everyone. I heard you're leaving Zeiss. Yeah, we're heading to the capital next. Seems like the Royal Army needs us for something. Goodness, you really are very busy. Be sure to take care of yourselves. Don't push yourself too hard just because you're young. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Do you take care of Titer? Yeah, we will. See you later, Hazel. Take care at the capital. Watch over Titer. Be careful out there. If you're looking for Faye, she's over at the Lyson Fortress with the factory ship. Apparently, they're going to change out the Arcelli's engine there. Now then, time to get some work done while she's away. Until fate sends me an angel, my lover is my work. If you're looking for Faye, she's over at the Lyson Fortress with the factory ship. Okay, nothing new. Still never been able to go through that door. My curiosity is getting the best of me. So, can I really become the receptionist girl? Really? You'd be better off just working hard on your own than asking me. And isn't that just fine? It's good to have a goal. Administrative staff dripping with ambition. How marvellous. Just watch out, Hazel's going to be pretty tough competition. After all, Chief Murdoch thinks pretty highly of her. Hazel's getting pretty old though, right? I think everyone would be happy with a young pretty face greeting them at the front. If the outfit was a miniskirt, you can bet I'd run her over. That reminds me, Hazel isn't married, is she? Nope, single as they can get. Hazel and I were both leftovers around the same time. What? Really? Ah, that's terrible. Men are consumables, at best, durable goods. I'd be way more re I'd be way more terrible signing my life away in a contract or something like that. Yikes. Oh yeah, I went to the lab on the fourth floor. You said there was a good man there, didn't you? But the guy that was there was such a wet noodle. It wasn't my idea of a good man anyway. Ah, that was Terry. Wasn't there someone else in there? Ooh, you meant someone else? Ah, I wasted all those smiles on the wrong guy. Hmm, it's about lunchtime, so Ray may have gone out. Speaking of lunch, I'm starting to get hungry myself. Want to go out to Fogel or something? My treat? Wow, I love you, boss. Oh, speaking of Fogel, isn't that waiter there pretty hot? Oh, didn't you know? That guy is dating one of the researchers on our staff. No, what a waste. Haven't you met Louise? She's young, she's got a heck of a brain. She might not be anything special in the looks department, but she rates pretty high in ability, so she's up there, if you know what I mean. Hmm, I guess people in the factory tend to focus on what's inside, huh? True, that attitude is pretty prevalent here. If your work doesn't impress, no one will even turn around. Do you think I'll be popular if I become the receptionist girl? Well, certainly more popular than if you stay in the archive room. Gotcha. Yeah, I just gotta work hard. Alright, I'll become the receptionist girl no matter what. Just you watch. Then I'll get some hot researcher too. <laughs> so, can I really become the receptionist girl? Okay, I think that's all of the dialogue exhausted. Yeah, she needs to work on what's inside, not her pretty little face. Oh, if it isn't Estelle. Haven't departed yet, hmm? Yeah, we had a bit of business still. By the way, did something come up? Yes, we received an investigation request from the Royal Army. It's about that projection device. Projection device? That weird contraption in Ruan that the enemy used? The one that could create illusions? Yes, the one you told me about. I think it's necessary to have a look at it if I'm to study the gospel properly. We were going to ask the army about it, but then they sent it to us. 
we were just about to take a look. Wow, you already got an investigation report together. Seems like the army's putting a lot of effort into investigating the society. Yeah, it may seem obvious, but the army's keeping tabs on them. I intend to put my all into puzzling out this gospel. Well then, take care of Taita. Yeah, leave it to us. Take care, Professor. The technological prowess of our friends in the society is quite remarkable. Mm, this is the first meaty challenge I've had in some time. I've had a declaration of safety regarding the earthquakes put out under my name. But now my priority is alleviating the concerns of the citizens. I hear you'll be heading to the capital, but be careful on the roads, okay? Hey everyone, they've declared the earthquake danger over, so I should be able to focus on my research for a while. Look forward to my new model orbital gun. They've declared the earthquake danger over, so I should be able to focus on my research for a while. Look forward to my new model orbital gun. Oh, what is it? Everyone just left for Lyson Fortress. I was just putting together data on the earthquakes. Thanks to Russell, there's a great deal of information stored in Capel. A while back I was reading a treatise on a medicinal journal written by a priest, and it was just really impressive. I admit to being a little shocked, for the church to not just have knowledge about traditional medicine but also modern medicine. I'd love to have the chance to talk in depth with the writer Father Divine. The priests of the Septum Church are developing new medicines even now. It's still a mystery how they can innovate so much, but reading this treatise I can accept it. Basically, it seems like they've got some incredible people. Father Divine, is he the one from Roland? Rings a bell. Oh. This new girl came by a bit ago. She was so eager and c, c cute She really felt like a super honest, bright girl. Gah, I don't have time to think about that. I, I need to decide on a research theme soon. Hmm, what would be a good theme? Ah, Muriel. Gah, what am I even thinking? He's distracted by the pretty girl. Hey everyone, good work. Seems like investigating the source of the earthquakes was a hard job. Still, to control septum veins. What crazy tech. It's unimaginable with our level of knowledge. Tech that can control septium veins. I can hardly imagine it. According to the factory chief's announcement, it seems like the earthquakes are over. Heh, <laughs> guess those measurements were useful, huh? Adios, all I ask is that the earth stays right where it is and stops moving about. For Capel's sake, too. Okay, I'm gonna head on over to, um, whatchamacallit, the th Sanctime Gate. Alrighty, we have arrived. Let's see... Seems like the earthquake settled down. Everyone can now breathe easy. Oh yeah, the signing ceremony is soon. Man, the commander is going to be screaming in our ears about heightened security again. Welcome to the Sanctime Gate. If you have any business here, please come inside. Wonder if our uh, friend Anton is going to be here. Hey, welcome. You can pass on through. Cleaning up after the earthquake is finally done. Man oh man, what a mess. Central Factory sent out a message that the earthquakes are finished. We've received a similar report from headquarters. It seems it really wasn't just a natural phenomenon. The brass seem to be quite active lately. I wonder if the remnants of the old intelligence division finally hit the network. Hey, welcome. I'll take your orders. I don't know what happened, but my waitress ain't here after all. Really, that Tammy. Come back already. Wonder if she ran off with that. Oh, no, she's right here. I have the worst look with men. How do I turn this tragic fate around, I wonder? I can 
well understand your troubles myself. However, the problem always lies within the self. What's preventing you from meeting your future spouse? Could it be that the ideal man that lies in your heart is naught but a false image? I'll be at the cathedral, so feel free to come by any time. Now then, I'm very sorry, but I'd best be returning soon. Yeah, I think she, uh... Kind of wears her heart in her sleeve and falls in love with everyone. Apparently Tammy went to service. That's a rare thing. I don't think that girl has that much faith, to be honest. I'm sure the priest must be a handsome man. Apparently Tammy's at church. That happens about as often as earthquakes. <laughs> Sounds like the priest that came today is a real good-looking guy. It seems like the earthquake issue has been resolved, but still, there's far too much we don't understand. Hmm. We'll need to stay alert for a while. It seems like the earthquake issue has been resolved, but there's too much that we don't know about at all. We'll need to stay alert for a while. Oh, there's Amazon. Looks like he's panicking. We'll soon find out what's going on with him. I don't really want to throw away my life in a place like this. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the capital. I really don't want to throw my wife life away in a place like this. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the capital. Calm down, Anton. No point in freaking out. Well, either way, I'd planned on returning to the capital. Well, I'm just glad you've gotten your energy back. Apparently, it'll be the Lyston Fortress units that handle security at the signing ceremony. Seems Colonel Sid will be taking command too, so it sounds like we're in good shape. He has more of a civil servant look about him, but Colonel Sid's actually a heck of a fighter. He's one of the best in the Royal Army when it comes to arts, from what I hear. Colonel Sid has more of a civil servant look about him, but he's actually a heck of a fighter. He's one of the best in the Royal Army when it comes to arts, from what I hear. Okay, that's everyone spoken to here, so I think next destination is going to be the Wolf Fort. And here we are. The whole earthquake thing seems to have finally settled down. What a strange, incom incomprehensible event. We'll leave solving that one to the guild. We've got to go over our security in preparation for the signing ceremony. I imagine we'll be taking it easy as ever here, though. According to the Central Factory, the earthquakes are over with, but I actually received a similar report from Army Command. Regardless of the reasons, it does seem to be true that the earthquakes have quieted down. Even with the earthquakes quieted down, we still can't let our guard down. A non-aggression pack signing ceremony is scheduled to occur soon. Like something crazy is probably going to happen with that. Apparently, even Nice and Fortress got hit by a quake. I was so surprised that I'm completely awake now. Apparently, there's almost no damage, but earthquakes are still scary. It seems like there was an earthquake over at Lyston Fortress. Earthquakes just hitting military facilities? Real fishy, if you ask me, and kind of creepy. Wonder if that's some long delayed punishment for the coup d'etat. Seems like there was an earthquake over at Lyson Fortress. Wonder if that's some long delayed punishment for the coup d'etat. It seems like the earthquakes have stopped. An announcement from the Central Factory said so, so it must be true. Anyway, I'm just glad the earthquakes have stopped. Now we can get back to taking it easy. Okay, last stop Elmo Village. And here we are. You, thank adios, the baths are back to normal. That's a relief, let me tell you. As long as a few fine guests like you come, I can keep a roof over my head. Until Quante's bigger, I just gotta hold on little by little. As long as a few fine guests like you come, I can keep a roof over my head. I'm really happy the hot springs are fixed. I don't think any customers would have come back if they were boiling like that forever. 
Phew, thank goodness, I wasn't sure that what we'd do if it stayed that way. Braces fix the springs too. They're so amazing. Braces really are cool, man. No wonder they won the martial arts competition. It seems the water's at a normal temperature again. Still, what a curious series of events. It seems it really might have been an effect of the earthquakes. Seems the water's at a normal temperature again. Still, what a curious series of events. The hot springs have finally gone back to a normal temperature, it seems. Apparently, you can use the baths at the Maple Leaf Inn again. That reminds me, there was an earthquake recently. I wonder if the trouble at the hot springs is related to that. The hot springs have finally gone back to a normal temperature, it seems. Hello, dears. Thanks for the help before. With our hot springs up and running again, we can finally get back to business. If you find some time, you should all come and stay a spell with us. You guys are always welcome. Seems like the earth has finally settled down, so that's one case closed. If you find some time, you should all come and stay a spell with us. You're always welcome. Ah, welcome. The baths are finally available to use. Our baths are finally back to normal. The baths are finally available to use. The Eastern cooking here is on par with the best out there. I've been to the Antaros, so I would know. The beauty of Eastern cooking is that it makes the most of its ingredients. People with poor sense of taste would be hard pressed to appreciate its complexity. Hey you guys! Ah, it's so good to have the hot springs back to normal. You guys are lifesavers. Races really are reliable. It's great to have the hot springs back to normal, thanks. Next time, come by on your downtime and relax a bit. Ah, what a nice bath. Yep, I can confirm a fact that the baths are just fine now. Okay, I'd better get back to work. Obviously, the best way to check the temperature of the baths is to have a quick soak, right? It's part of my cleaning duties. I I'm not slacking off, I swear. Guess we have a quick bath to get our craft points back. And I think that is where we are going to call this episode for today. I know we still have to go to Erletten, but I'm going to roll that into the next episode. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when the next episode's coming out. Feel free to leave a comment if there's anything you want to say about the video and go and head on over to my Twitter account and follow it so you can stay up to date with any news about the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye for now.